Uh, in our paper, we essentially uncover a means uh, by which warm ocean water observed near Totten Glacier, which is the largest and most rapidly thinning glacier in East Antarctica, a means by which this warm ocean water observed nearby can access the most vulnerable part of the floating section of the glacier, which um, stands in the way um, of the grounded section, which uh, contains enough ice to raise sea level quite substantially. We've heard a lot of news about West Antarctica uh, in recent years, but you are talking about an area of East Antarctica. Uh, what, what's the difference? That's right. Uh, West Antarctica has the most rapidly thinning glaciers in the world. And uh, it's, uh, it's, con it's concerning, and we're uh, monitoring those glaciers actively. Um, however, West Antarctica, turns out, isn't the whole story when we're interested in potential sea level contributors. Um, there are deep basins in East Antarctica, um, and by deep I mean the, the, the ice rests on uh, rock that's below sea level. So uh, that's a configuration that's, um, that's unstable for sea level change. And so those are areas where we need to watch to look for change to see if they might also contribute to sea level as we expect West Antarctica to do. Uh, so West Ant the West Antarctic Ice Sheet is basically one big basin um, where these glaciers are grounded below sea level and the, the coastal sections of those, ice of those glaciers are changing. Um, now it turns out there, there are three basins in East Antarctica that are like that as well. Um, however, one of them, the Aurora Subglacial Basin, uh, has a glacier that's thinning rapidly uh, as well. Um, it's not thinning as rapidly as the glaciers in West Antarctica, but it's thinning more rapidly than any other glacier in the world outside of West Antarctica. So if there's anywhere else to look, um, it's this glacier. And uh, it's called Totten Glacier. And uh, the question has been, why is it thinning? You know, there are multiple reasons, uh, there, there are multiple ways to explain why a glacier might thin. Uh, one is that warm water is um, uh, enhancing melting of the floating section of the glacier. Um, and that's what's going on in West Antarctica. And so the question for our study was, uh, is the same process occurring in East Antarctica? And uh, what we show is that more than likely that is what is going on with the Totten Glacier. So there, um, how rapidly is this thinning? The grounded part of the glacier, uh, which is the part that's been thinning for over a decade, um, is thinning by about two meters per year. So that's, that's really fast. Um, and like I said, it's the fastest outside of West Antarctica. Um, the ice shelf uh, has also been shown to be thinning, but it's a little more complex because, uh, you know, an ice shelf uh, has an irregular shape. This is the floating section of the glacier. Has a, uh, the ice shelf has an irregular shape. And uh, there are parts beneath the floating ice shelf that sometimes get stuck on, on um, seafloor uh, rises. So there are shallow parts in the seafloor beneath the floating ice shelf that, uh, that allow the glacier to get stuck sometimes. And so that uh, complicates the, the, the velocity and the thinning rate of the floating part. Uh, but we look at the, grounding, the grounded part, um, and that has been thinning steadily for, for a long time now. For uh, like I said, over a decade. 